a lot of people are voting on things without reading them. And I don't know how you can do a job without doing your homework before you actually do a vote. So I commend you for that. A couple things I had questions on though, is you hear about a lot of structure being in this bill that isn't healthcare related. For example, access, direct access to people's bank accounts and their savings accounts. Is that really in this bill? So yes. um, there is there are provisions in this bill. It's really hot in here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's just the access to bank um, So, yes, there are provisions in here. Now, this is where I've seen some embellishments, and, and this is where you've got to subtract uh, fact from fiction. Here's the way it works, um, and I'll paraphrase. There's a number of titles in here. The health care commissioner must have access to your financial records in order to determine whether or not you qualify for these benefits and subsidies. There's two determinations that need to take place where they would need access to your financial records. Number one, if you don't buy health insurance and you will be assessed this mandate tax, the penalty, there will be a hardship exemption that the health care commissioner will later, at a later date, determine who is exempted from having to pay this 2.5% tax of all their income. In order to find out whether you qualify for the yet to be determined hardship exemption, the health care commissioner needs to know um, your financial records is each qualified. The other one is an asset test, uh, not unlike Medicaid, whereby um, your ability to qualify for credits or subsidies that will, are hinged off not just your income but also your assets. In order to determine your qualification, they have to have access to such records to, to determine your, your, your eligibility. Now, I think this is not the way to do a benefit. Uh, it, it, I mean, it's for a lot of reasons. Um, but it ought to be done through the tax code, through tax credits, or advanceable, refundable tax credits in the case of a person who's not a taxpayer. That way it's cleaner, easier to implement, and you can make sure that a person you don't want to get the benefit, say like illegal immigrants, don't get the benefit. Yeah. That's, so, you know, they have to have access to this. If they're going to, if they're going to deliver this benefit in this way, that is why that information is necessary. Um, I, I, I wouldn't, 